Yeah, okay, um, so let's see what we were doing. On this is the PPP model again. Oh, come on, and you know we didn't have any uh, working capital assumptions. So here's what we can do: we can put working capital into the jeez, uh, oh, I gotta look and see if that's right. We can put working capital into the um, uh, project cost, and then we can just finance it kind of as a part of the project cost, or we could put it as a separate debt facility. So that's what we'll we'll uh, work on in this video, and I'm going to pause it just for a minute. Okay, so <coughs> I'm back. The uh, let me see. We should have put some. O and M expense, uh, 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 O and M uh, working capital assumptions here, you know, and I think it would have been better to uh, put the shift. That shift. Uh, what I do is I press shift uh, spacebar, and then if you press shift control plus, that uh, inserts control X. Uh, Control minus deletes. Uh oh, I, th I think uh, did I just make it here? Okay, and then so really this should come right after the this, and we put can put days here and days. Okay. Okay, and then uh, okay, and then we have. I don't know why we need this crap. Okay, so let's just now it, let's just kind of look at what the problem is if we have. Uh, uh, the working capital. Okay, so let's put uh, accounts receivable or debtors, and then we'll put uh, days outstanding, and then we'll put um, a percent of revenues. Now it normally it would be uh, uh, we need how many days we have in the period. I hope we have that. It looks like we don't. I think uh, right here let's put some days in the period. Okay, and uh, not very complicated. We take the ending minus the beginning plus one. Shift Control R, and let's uh, uh, Alt W F F. If you want to quickly uh, make a uh, so the days uh, outstanding. Let's put. Let's get that from our operating assumptions. Okay. Shift control one. Simply multiply nothing fancy here. Shift control R. And then percent of revenues. This is a little tricky. Normally you'd take it divided by three sixty five. But this time, we take the days and divide that by the days. So, 100% of our revenues will be delayed. Okay, and uh, um, now let's take the uh, accounts. You know. We could do a couple of things. I, we could make an opening balance and a closing balance, but 
I think we can just put it like this. I think we can just take this and multiply it by the... If we were really precise, if we'd somehow collect these revenues at the very last day of the year, but it's really just delaying it by an entire mo uh, month. So we just multiply those. So what happens is in the very first month, here's how much revenues we have not collected. Now let's um, put accounts uh, payable and we'll put days. Okay, now let's pretend. Why don't we pretend that we pay everybody every uh, 15 days? So just to make it a little bit different. Okay. Okay, so we, we put... Uh, we can copy these things. Okay, and copy uh, these and uh, okay. Uh, let's get this uh, from our let's. Uh, Simply press F4 on this, and let's put a percent. Again, just simply divide this by the number of days. Perhaps Shift Control P, Shift Control R, and then our accounts payable will be this multiplied by the uh, total operation and maintenance expense. Shift Control One, Shift Control R. Now, once we have the total uh, amounts, then let's put the uh, we'll put uh, how about total, and then oops, and then working capital ch changes. Okay, so, so far, nothing uh, too fancy. Okay. This is uh, this one minus this one. That's the total. And then our changes in working capital are this minus the... the the last one, and here's what happens. In the very first period, we have a really big uh, requirement for working capital. And then at the very end, we get it all back because uh, uh, it's just delayed. So that's a reduction in working capital. Okay. And Let's now when we uh, we better move this into the other sheet. This is our project fine primate seat, and what we have is we sum diff. Let's see, we put a sum if, and we sum diff. The first thing is we looked at this range over here, which was the. Uh, start of the period and we sum that when it's this one and then the thing we actually summed is the working capital changes. Okay. It still says euros, but uh, let's let's uh, so we have this big uh, big amount we have to finance. Okay, and we're gonna have 
uh, in the very first six month period, this goes from six months up here, you see it goes by six month periods. Ah, so why don't we first uh, take all the euro signs off of that? Shift Control 1, perhaps. Okay. And uh, I think we can. Okay, we have EBITDA minus working capital, capital changes. So we have this very big uh, uh, thing. Now what we'll do is we'll fund that working capital in the, in the, in the very initial period. So uh, I think, why don't we do that here, okay? Okay, and what we'll create is almost like a little um, working, uh, like a little maintenance reserve account. So we'll put a working uh, capital account uh, initial. And then we'll put an opening balance. And then we'll add the required. How about initial working capital? And then we'll put less. Uh, uh, Less working uh, withdrawals in, in the first period, and then let's put closing balance. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can figure this one out. So. The first thing I think we can get, whoops, there's some more euro signs. Shift control one. Okay. First thing is let's make the opening balance equal the closing balance. Aha! There, we can figure that out. And then the withdrawals we'll have are, are just the, if we, t do we have a, uh, COD switch. We have a COD switch, and we'll multiply that by the by our working capital amount changes. Okay, <sighs> and then our closing balance is the opening balance plus the amount we deposit minus the amount we take out. Now this one is just going to be the the subsequent period. It's going to be the we're going to put it in for the next period, so I think that's all we have to do. And hopefully we have a little, uh, there's, oh, there's our, uh, I assume that's the, just a minute, this switched February 16th. Why does, why is this thing all? Okay. Oops. Oh no. Shift control three. And uh, the operation switch is uh, operation switch is starts at sixteenth February. Okay. So these are all the construction switches. And oh, this is just okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. What in the hell is this one? Is this okay? 
I have no idea what this one does. This is a wrong thing. Okay, we'll fix that. I'll fix that later. Probably get screwed up. Okay, and so, uh, sorry about this. Where were we? So if we go to the this switch, what happens is the um, in the amount just before commercial operation, we put it in and then we take it out. No, we're not quite finished because when we uh, put our cash flow together, uh, this is all our funding needs. And one of the things we have to add here is I'm going to add it right after CapEx. I'm going to add the uh, initial working capital funded so we can have that available and we'll just go up and find that we'll find that can we find that Tuff. come on Oh, come on, there it is. Okay. Shift control R. Why oh, I still have euros all over. Shift control one. Now when we put this together we'll have to also put it here. Okay, so let's add the uh, uh, we can just do something very quick, simple and just sub the sum the whole uh, thing. Okay. And then we can, uh, that's going to be, the these are all going to be the same, I hope. And then uh, we'll just apply it. And we better make sure now that our sum is this one. So, you know, we fixed it, but uh, we better add this. Now this one came from E, G, A, B, C, D. It came from the same thing. Oh, okay. That's fine. This one we're going to have to uh, fix. And uh, this is applied. So that, that should be okay. Now we don't have to worry about the uh, funding of the VAT. And I, sh I did something quickly. That should be all gone out. Okay, and then we have our pro rata funding. Now, let's just review this. This was uh, F-153. What's F-153? Shit. That should be F-153 this is that pro rata okay I think we're gonna have to uh, so can we put uh, you know I, I somewhere else I did this much better I can't remember but uh, if we do pro rata, we should divide that, and we can put, and we'll sum the initial. Of course, this is uh, wrong. Okay, so now we put that as part of our construction funding. 
and uh, we have all, all the rest of it. Hopefully, we'll be okay. I'm sure there'll be some some uh, mistakes. Just uh, okay, and we have. Our, why am I doing this while you're after watching this crap, okay? Uh, I think we're okay, but we better get to the financing. So uh, we put the financing in here, and then we better get down to the cash flow waterfall. We kind of just made our reserve account for the working capital, and finally, we it's not going to affect the EBITDA, but we can put uh, less working capital change here. Now, uh, uh, let's, Jesus, what a waste of time. Let's add, okay, we'll add the withdrawal of, from the working capital initial working capital account. So what that will do is it, it will, uh, and remember that's the stuff way up here, okay, uh, initial working capital, that was our initial capital working capital funded. And in our very first account, in our very first period, we'll we'll take the amount out of our, and then we'll um, let's add add the working capital account. Oh, okay, and. Um, the final thing we really should do is in the balance sheet we should put now we have a uh oh where's our working capital a o 22 that better be put but we better also add in a initial working capital account Okay. Maybe this whole thing was kind of a little bit of a waste, but at least get it. Let's get this right. Okay, and uh, come on. There's our closing balance. <sighs> okay, and let's. Um, fix our working capital. Now, here's what I'm going to do. It's false. It should be false. We haven't kind of fixed the working capital right now, so it's true, and then it got to be false. Yeah. It, well, we have to make sure this worked, and then this worked, and then we've got some uh, working capital changes. So I'm going to fix that. And that gives you an idea, basically, of how the financing part of this uh, thing works and the working capital works.